Hey, I'm sure if you're looking at this, you've heard already that the May surveys for ducks are out. And, and that's good news. We did the first survey we've done in three years. We've, we've canceled the prior two because of COVID. Um, and you've probably seen that the results are not that great. Duck numbers were down. Now, that shouldn't be a surprise. Uh, last summer was probably the driest period we've seen in the prairie pothole region uh, in two decades at least, mm -hmm. since 2005 at least. Um, so terrible duck production last year. And, and that was shown in age ratios that also just came out uh, in a different report. I've never seen age ratios as low as some of what we've seen for North Dakota and the Central Flyway. We've got, you know, a half a duckling uh, per, per adult. So really low age ratios, terrible production last year. So no surprise, most duck numbers were down this year relative to the last survey we had, 2019. But that's not, you know, that's not what hunters should really look at. What they should look at are the fall flight numbers. And Chris, you want to expand on that? Yeah, I mean, that's what the, the surveys are doing is setting up kind of like the biological year. You know, it's telling us what we started with. Right. And, and those were conducted before or right when eggs were putting on the ground this year. Yep. And with the wet conditions we had, the eggs that got put down look like they did really good. And that's what we're excited about is we've got that BPOP numbers, kind of like the baseline number, and then we get to add to it. And that's what this whole production and recruitment and the fall flight estimate is. It gets to bump that up in a year like this because conditions are wet. We're expecting the ducklings that hit the ground are doing awesome this year. I, I agree with you completely. It's going to be a good duck production year, and, and that's what really makes a good fall flight. Those young birds, they're susceptible to hunting. We can decoy them well. and, yep. and Yeah, and it helps set up, you know, the whole annual cycle, I, to me, is not a calendar year. It's when the eggs hit the ground until we have eggs next year. So it's shifted yep. to how we use yep how we think about things, and hunting is right in the middle of that. Yeah. So what we get in the year like this, yeah, numbers are down a little bit from the long-term average, but boom, that huge addition that we get to do this year from good brooding conditions yep. is going to make hunting really good. And then secondly, it gives us this huge potential to have those birds be picked up in the May survey next, next year, year. Yeah. which is what we're yeah. really concerned about is going yeah. in the future. What's happened already is behind us. It's already yeah. in the regulatory process. Right. Luckily, you know, flip of a coin, if we're going to get good year or bad year for broodering habitat, we got that positive this year. Yeah. So right. it's lining up good. Now it's basically, um, you know, how do winter conditions yeah. impact natural mortality on these ducks to help get us back into a positive right. population trend, hopefully starting next year. Right. And if you know, guys are going to start teal hunting pretty soon, and, and my guess is the teal season will be exceptional because blue wings were the surprise in the surveys this year. Blue wings were up, and, and neither of us quite understands that, but they apparently had a better year last year than most of the dabblers. And so we had a lot of blue wings, and they had phenomenal success and great renesting. We still had blue wing downy ducklings, uh, you know, in mid-August. So. I'm still, and yeah. redheads came up too. I was redheads actually right, talking right. to banders yesterday yeah. that saw redheads still hopping out of nest bowls yesterday. Yeah. You know, I the mean, third that, week of August. But that just shows it's been super wet yeah. and we've got a lot of renesting and that's just good for duck production. So blue wings will be up. Mallards will be way up. They had a terrible year last year and this year they're going to have a great year because it's wet all over. Uh, divers yeah. should do relatively well. Yeah, because we're right into that. You know, redheads have really expanded over the last yeah. couple decades in the eastern Dakotas. We got the whole traditional southwestern Manitoba, which is a diver hot spot, which extends all into that parklands in the beginning and of the, the parklands were soaked. And exactly. So cans and redheads in the parklands should do well. Yeah, Particularly stop, ringnecks. After yeah. a dry year, the predator numbers are down and the ducks are doing great. So. You know, the one spot that probably is going to suffer is the Pacific Flyway. You have these incredible droughts out in California, which normally produces a lot of mallards locally. And then the birds that hit the Pacific Flyway coming out of the western prairie pothole region, Alberta and western Saskatchewan, well, that was the driest spot in the prairie. Yeah, so, some of the driest ever recorded for those regions. So I don't think, I don't think the prognosis for the Pacific Flyway is as bright as other 
places, central and Mississippi. Uh, the East Coast, you know, all the gadwall on the East Coast are coming out of the prairies. Gadwall had a terrible year last year, having a great year this year. Yeah. And Eastern Mallards. And Black Ducks were up, uh, what, 100 to 200,000 Both up. Highest each. count on Eastern Mallards since, what, 2014 or something? Yeah. Or, yeah, so... So it looks pretty good in most places. The only place I'm worried about is California, Oregon, Pacific Flyways. So, yeah. so overall, Chris, it looks to me like uh, the bee pops were down a little bit, but but what really matters is duck production, and we think that's going to be way up. I think yeah. it's going to be a, a really good fall, particularly compared to the last couple of years. So yeah, exactly. Just a higher proportion of, of those young birds. Young birds. It, it makes hunting way better. Yeah, great production makes for good duck seasons. Want more ducks? Join the Million Duck Campaign today at deltawaterfowl.org.